All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Mashoku Tensai season two, episode eleven. In the last episode, we had Rudy's somewhat awakening or potential awakening. Um, he was very much contemplating if he liked like bits and uh, of it. Well, Silphy, obviously. Um, thinking, obviously, yeah, he's a man. The minute he decided, holy shit, I think I'm in love with him. He's like, wait. I don't like guys though. Like, is is maybe he's actually a girl? He finds out she is in the most interesting way, um, and then did some nasty shit in the library because <laughs> he has no shame. Um, but yeah, uh, that that's Rudy, funny as hell. Um, and now he's like, "Phew, I'm just in love with another girl." Still doesn't know it's Sylphie though. Um, so we will see how it goes from here. Uh, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, wow, yeah. I forgot he, semi, he almost cured his ED right there. Oh, what up, Luke? Oh, did Fitz tell him about the situation? Because Fitz is his friend? Afraid to challenge you? Nah, I want to see it. And then just runs away. <laughs> Very anime. Why is he struggling with the situation? Oh, it was her. Okay, got that solid confirmation. <laughs> yeah, that was probably loud. Yeah, why would he? And in return, you will tell him your identity. Aerial wingman wing man in the shit right now. Like, girl, get on with it. Goddamn. You say it how it is. Good friend. Good shit. She is speaking for the audience right now. I fuck with her. So was this some kind of spell that she used to... Like, disguise herself as Fitz, or, like, was it just really good makeup and wig and shit? Oh, put that first and leave me cute. Put that first and leave me for a man that has, like, three other women. <laughs> Potential women. But he, very, he clearly does have feelings for Fitz, so we will see how it goes. Good job. Are we gonna? Do, are we gonna do it this episode? Please. That's the risk you gotta take. Nah, you're wrong about that. <laughs> I know it's been what six years now, five, six years. Yeah, it would have been six years because it's been a one-year time skip in the last episode. Oh. Yeah, I know, I know it's been six years, but, like, after an, a traumatic event like that, I'm not forgetting that shit. Or maybe, you know, some people actually put, put trauma in the back of their mind. <laughs> Forced me to undress. This is a happy memory for her. Just allow it. Well, she likes it, so that's that's all that matters, I guess. Don't tell me it's going to be something to do with her getting undressed in front of him. Good question. We'll share a bed. <laughs> yeah, wow, okay, she's fought this through. <laughs> Luke, oh my god. Well, she knows what she wants at least. Ariel was expecting, like, some cute answer. 
I mean, that's pretty cute, to be fair. Damn. Yeah, you gotta go for you gotta fall in right here. Honestly, I I feel like all you'd need to do is just take your glasses off in front of him. I think he'd instantly see those eyes. Don't do it in the lunch hall though, my god, do it somewhere like private. Look <laughs> at this big ass purple haired main character looking. I'll help with all the force of a red dragon. I would even shoot down a flying fortress. Isn't there a- wait, wasn't there a- am I thinking of the right series? Isn't there a flying fortress in this series? This is a really roundabout way about setting up a situation to tell him that you're Sylvie. That's not what she's asking. <laughs> I mean, he, he's making sound sense right now, but it's not what she's asking. Bro, get the message. You literally have to say it right to his face for him to understand. Watch, he's going to invite someone or something. Oh, okay, he didn't. Smart, Rudy. Again, like, you could have just, like, came to my room at night or something just told me. This is very elaborate. You can pay me with a kiss. Something else. <laughs> yeah, the way she's thinking about that. She's adorable. But she also she also has some interesting thoughts. Oh, that is convenient as hell. Wow. It's so deep as well. That's so convenient. Look at his face. I beg someone fixes his jacket, man. <laughs> it's gonna be like going from like a little pistol to a, holding a rocket launcher. I'm, I'm gonna ignore that. Oh, that's cute though. What is she doing? Is this her doing? Okay, she can control the weather. In interesting. <laughs> of course he'd be able to fix this. Is she gonna make snow? He's like, why can't I, why can't I mess with the weather? Ugh, rain in this cold ass place. I'll take snow, cold as hell, but rain, ugh, I'd freeze to death. Yeah, all part of the plan. I love how like Rudy's like helpful to have around and he like finds solutions for everything. In this case, she does not want to find these solutions. Well, now that your clothes are all wet, you're going to have to strip off. Oh my god, they're actually going to undress. God damn. Okay, so he, he's not dumb. He does notice this. I forgot that like the, the, the Rudy that he gives off to other people is different to the Rudy in his head. She, are you are you alright? Oh, she's freezing. Bro, take your clothes off. Oh, okay. Just make like a little rock wall or something so she can get changed. Oh, she's, she's really scared. She's really nervous, probably. D 
Uh, yeah, okay. I knew this is what she was going for. Damn. Don't have to tell me twice. Oh, she really had to get the courage to do this. Suppose I'll have to. <laughs> I might die. Yeah, gotta do what you gotta do. Yes, sir. Yes, you have. Come on, Rudy, remember. Yeah, yeah, you're going all the way. Oh, sunglasses. Okay. Oh, shit. Come on, Rudy, remember. Oh, my God. Does he not remember? Please, Rudy. Oh. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Oh. oh, oh, yes, I'm so happy. This is so sweet. I knew it as soon as he saw her eyes. This is so fucking cute, man. I really do ship them. Oh. Oh, bro. The ship is sailing. I need them together, for real. Sorry, other girls. Uh, Sylphie's the one. Right, so that was Mishoka Tentai Season 2, Episode 11. That was a really nice episode. It was a really sweet way to go about doing it as well. Um, I think the whole undressing part was kind of Sylphie kind of putting more thoughts and putting more memories into his head, which, yes, it worked, um, because he was remembering, t like, the time that this happened when they were kids. Um, but all she needed to do was take off her glasses, and he just instantly saw Sylphie. So cute. I love them together. She already He already said, um, obviously, when he still kind of thought that she was a man, that this might be love, This this feeling that he's feeling might be love. And then Sylphie's obviously very in love with him. So honestly, sorry, Edis. Sorry, I don't know, I guess Sarah, but she kind of out of the picture, I suppose. Sorry, Roxy. Are there any other girls? I can't remember. Um, yeah, no, Sylphie's the one, 100%. I ship it. Ah, very good episode. I'm very much looking forward to the finale episode next week. Um, yeah, anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.